April 5th and 6th, Sunday and Monday, the sun is in Aries and the moon is in Virgo. That's a very interesting combination. We've got the Aries, the only planet in fire right now is Aries. We've got all this fire energy, but the moon in Virgo is grounding us because why? There's all those planets in Capricorn and planets in Virgo over here with the moon and planets in Taurus. So we've got a grand trine in Earth going on. This is giving us the opportunity to let ourselves stabilize. Now it's a little bit out of degree, but that moon in Virgo is really stabilized by having it trine Uranus and Taurus. That's all astrological jargon to mean that it's an emotionally stabilizing, exciting time to ask yourself, while the moon's in Virgo, what are the practical things around the house I can do? This is such a great thing. Can I change anything up? Can I build something? How can I help someone? Moon in Virgo. Service to the other. Being respectful about how to be practical in giving someone something. Cooking a bread. Giving them a present. Being able to help drive someone. These are all the things that are being asked. If we're able to drive, drive someone. You all know what you need to do. And when the moon's in Virgo, if you find your internal dialogue getting either nervous because Virgos have high nervous energy or feeling yourself shooting yourself. I should be doing this. I sh then don't should it, just do it. That's what Aries Virgo says. Don't talk about it, just jump in and do it. Aries Virgo for the next few days asking you to step up, organize, look for service and see how you can help someone. Astrology answers one of me to say, don't let Moon and Virgo bug you. You figure out how to make it work for you.